Hi, I'm meteorologist Tony Petraka in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the WeatherNow link on this late Friday night. Your weekend update starting off with a rip current risk that will continue for the next couple of days. Uh, an offshore storm system will stay away, but throwing back some wave energy, some increased surf, and uh, the risk of some rip currents. Also, I'm going to want to stay off some of the rocks and jetties over the next couple of days, as well as the surf picks up uh, just a bit. In the meantime, as we take a look at the weather headlines here, that rip current risk. Uh, showers for part of the weekend, but not all of it. In fact, the news is actually pretty good if you got outdoor plans this weekend, as the daylight hours of both Saturday and Sunday are dry. Uh, the ch this chance for showers is in that window of like Saturday evening, Saturday night, and really not getting in here until after, say, 6, 7 o'clock in the evening. So good news there. Actually, Sunday looks like a pretty nice day, and that nice weather extending through most of next week as well. So here's the setup. Storm offshore and a cold front to our west. So it can kind of widen out the view here. And that area of low pressure intensifying, but heading up towards Nova Scotia. Uh, but still throwing back some waves along the east coast. In the meantime, tracking this cold front through the Midwest and Buffalo, New York. This is set to arrive early on Saturday night with scattered showers. Slight chance of a, thund of a thunderstorm. But again, it doesn't. The, the chance doesn't really increase until after 6, 7 o'clock Saturday evening. The daylight hours of Saturday, as mentioned, should be dry. In fact, we take this into the future and we'll move ahead. You can see that ocean storm pulling away. Here we are Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Be kind of a blend of clouds and a little bit of sun. The front still well to our west. We're still dry. Here we are 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Front is out towards western Connecticut with some showers. But here in southern New England, we're dry. But what will happen is by... Now, this is about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, the clouds are going to be on the increase once again, so it'll cloud over. And then the front is coming through Saturday evening, Saturday night, between about 7, 8, 9 o'clock in the evening. Get some scattered showers then if you've got any plans to be out early on Saturday night. But look, the front heads offshore later Saturday night, and here we are Sunday. Some sunshine. This is Sunday morning. Jump ahead to Sunday afternoon. Nice. I mean, it's sunny. It's dry. But a little breezy and cooler on Sunday, but it'd be nice to see the sunshine. Dry weather extends uh, Sunday night. And then here we are Monday morning heading back to work and school, starting off with sunshine and temperatures in the mid-50s. Here it is hour by hour. Now, we'll start with clouds and even a little fog. Low clouds and fog early Saturday morning. By mid to late morning, like for several hours, we'll break into some uh, like kind of a mix of clouds and sunshine, especially by later in the morning up until early afternoon. But then take note, here we are Saturday afternoon, how the clouds come back in mid to late day. But again, the, the daylight hours look dry as we get closer to 6, 7 o'clock towards sunset. You start to see some of those scattered shower chances increasing. Uh, beaches, we've got that high risk of... Uh, of rip currents, so be careful. Low clouds, certainly in the morning, early, then a mix of clouds and hazy sun. Any showers at the beach should wait until about probably 6, uh, 7 o'clock in the evening. Clearing out late Saturday night and uh, lots of sunshine, breezy and dry for Sunday.